Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand simple mediation analysis in SPSS MS. Mediation analysis is a statistical technique used to examine the mechanisms through which independent variable affects the dependent variable by introducing one or more mediating variables. You can see here y1 is affecting y2 directly, y1 is affecting y2 through the mediate, mediating variable m. So, the total effect is the direct effect plus the indirect effect. Let's try to understand this concept in a layman language. A child wants to go to the picnic. The child can convince the father directly or the child will try to convince mother and the mother will convince the father. So, the mother becomes a mediator. The mediator variable comes into the play when the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable is not direct, but is instead explained by the mediator variable. The mediator variable operates in a sequential manner, transmitting the effect of the independent variable to the dependent variable. Let's take a very small example. You are interested in examining the relationship between the studying time, that is independent variable here, and the academic performance DV and you suspect that the self-discipline plays a mediating role. The hypothesis is that the studying time includes the self-discipline which in turn affects the academic performance. So the studying time affects the self-discipline and the self-discipline affects the academic performance. So the total effect is the direct effect plus the indirect effect. So the total effect is direct effect P3 plus the indirect effect P1 into P2, the multiplication of this. Different types of mediation. The first one, no mediation, only the direct effect. X is affecting Y directly. Model 2, X is affecting Y directly also and through the indirect path also. So the total effect is C dash plus AB. The third, this is known as a partial mediation. The third model, full mediation, there is no direct effect, only the indirect effect A into B. Now, let's see this model and we will work on this flow chart. Is P1, P2 significant? P1 and P2 significant? Yes. Is P3 significant? Yes. The product of all these three, is it positive? Yes. Then it is known as a complementary partial mediation. Again, we will go here. Is P1, P2 significant? Yes. Is P3 significant? Yes. But the product of this P1, P2, P3 is negative. Therefore, it is known as a competitive, competitive partial mediation. Again, we will go here. Is P1, P2 significant? Yes. Is P3 significant? No. So, P3 is not significant and this is the case of full mediation. Indirect effect is only present. Again, is P1, P2 significant? No. Is P3 significant? Yes. So, these two are not significant. This is significant. It means that it is direct effect only. No mediation present. Is P1, P2 significant? No. Is P3 significant? No. All three are insignificant. So, there is no effect. No mediation. According to the Baron and Ganey approach, it is necessary that your direct effect should be significant then only we can estimate the indirect effect. This is the Baron and Ganey approach. Now, what are the steps which have been given by the Baron and Ganey? So the first step is that you will have to estimate, you will have to check whether X is affecting Y directly, significant, without the mediator, yes or no. So, we will have to remove the mediator first and we will have to check X is affecting Y directly or not. Now, we will introduce the mediator. So, it is necessary that x to m is significant, m to y is significant and after the introduction of the mediation, we will have to check is x affecting y or not, is this regression part significant or not. So, that is a step 4. If steps 1 to 3 are significant, 1, 2, 3 are significant and c dash is reduced, then we will have a partial mediation. And if C dash is equal to 0, we have a full mediation. 
in the new approach for mediation analysis that is not necessary that we should go for step one in which we are estimating that is x affecting y or not so even if the direct effect is insignificant then also we can proceed further but in baron and Kenny, it is necessary that you first assess the uh, direct effect and then you should proceed further now we will try to understand this in SPSS MS, environmental perception is affecting job satisfaction directly. Environmental perception of an employee is also affecting job satisfaction through the mediator, which is organizational commitment. So here, organizational commitment is a mediating variable. So according to the Baron and Kenny, first of all, we will have to check is the direct effect significant or not. So for this purpose, we will have to remove the mediating variable. Click the analysis property. Go in the output. Make sure that the standardized estimates and squared multiple correlations are on. Run the model. View the estimates. Now go in the estimates and check the First line, environmental perception and its effect on job satisfaction. The critical ratio is more than 1.96 and the p-value is less than 0 0.05. This means that environmental perception is affecting the job satisfaction of an employee. So increase in one unit of environmental perception. When the, environment, when the environmental perception goes up by 1, job satisfaction goes up by 0.181. So this path is significant and therefore we can proceed further for the mediation. So now we will introduce the mediating variable here. So now we have introduced the mediating variable. Again, I will go into analysis property and in output, make sure that now we activate indirect, direct and total effects. It is necessary that you carry out the bootstrapping whenever you introduce the mediation in your model. So activate the perform bootstrap, make this as 5000 and activate the bias corrected confidence intervals. Close this. Now calculate the estimates. So I will have to test the file, the data file. Click open. OK. And again run the analysis. Done. Now I'll go in view text, I'll go in estimates, matrices, total effects. Now just see, the environmental perception is your independent variable and job satisfaction is your dependent variable. The total effect is 0.181. We know that the total effect is a summation of the direct effect plus the indirect effect. So when I click on the direct effect, I got 0.141 and the indirect effect that is environmental perception affecting job satisfaction through organizational commitment that effect is 0 0.041 if i take the total of 0 0.141 and that is direct effect plus indirect effect 0 0.041 i'll get the total effect 0 0.181 this we can further confirm on the canvas also press the up arrow you can see the direct effect is 0.14. When you will multiply 0.65 with 0.06, you will definitely get the indirect effect, which is 0.041. To estimate the indirect effect, still there is one more method. Press the down arrow and click here. Define the new estimates. Wait for some time. A window will appear. Write the name. Indirect effect is equal to A into B. But first of all, we will have to uh, activate here the parameters A and here B. Now click here. Define the new estimates. Independent uh, indirect effect is equal to 
A asterisk B. Now check the syntax. Syntax is OK. Now close this. It will ask that the file has changed. Would you like to save it? Yes. So this is your indirect effect and I'll write down here indirect effect. Save. Now again run the model. Go in view text. Go in estimates. Go in scalars. User defined estimates. And you got the indirect effect 0 0.041, which is exactly same as this one, 0 0.041. So this is also the way in which the indirect effect can be estimated. So we got the value of the indirect effect, which is 0 0.041. But is it significant or not? That we will have to check. How we can do this? Make sure indirect effect is on. Bias corrected percentile matter. First of all, click on the lower bound. So the environmental perception and its effect on job satisfaction, this is the lower bound, minus 0 0.004. I'll simply copy this in the Excel file, right? Let's go back to the MS. Now I'll activate the upper bound. This is 0 0.093. I'll again copy this thing here. Now what is the interpretation? When the lower bound moves from negative to the upper bound positive, negative to positive, it means that there is a presence of zero in between as it is moving from negative to positive. So whenever a zero is present in between, this indirect effect is insignificant. This we can further confirm by the p-value. Click on the total significance and see the p-value. It is more than 0 0.05, which means that this indirect effect is insignificant. Now, in any case, if this uh, mediating effect was significant, which means that the lower bound was positive and upper bound was positive, means positive to positive, means that zero is not present or the another scenario, lower bound is negative and the upper bound is also negative. It means that negative to negative, so the zero is not present it means that the indirect effect is significant. And if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then also it means that the indirect effect is significant. If the indirect effect was significant, again, we would have checked the regression weights that in the presence of the mediating variable, is the direct effect significant or not? What is our direct effect? Let's see here. Environmental perception to job satisfaction, we will have to check again. Environmental perception to job satisfaction, this is 0 0.141 uh, and lower to upper, positive to positive. It means that it is significant. Moreover, the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore this is also significant. The same thing you can confirm here from the from regression weights and activating the estimates. So here also you get the same result. The p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the direct effect is significant. Now, I have noted down all these things in the PPT and now let's try to understand this interpretation. Direct effect without the mediator, the original model, when the mediation was not there, the relationship of environmental perception to job satisfaction, this was significant as, as its p-value was less than 0 0.05. When the mediator was introduced, then also this relationship was significant. The regression weight was 0 0.141 and the p-value was less than 0 0.05 when the mediator organizational commitment was introduced. Indirect effect, its value is 0 0.041, but the p-value is 0 0.135, which is non-significant. So as per Barron and Kenny approach, both the direct effects are significant, but the indirect effect using the bootstrap is not significant. So we can say that it is a case of no mediation. Now, what are the different possibilities which can occur? X and Y, X and Y, without mediator, the, it is insignificant. With mediator, it is significant. 
without mediator it is insignificant with mediator it is significant it means that it is a case of full mediation everything that is x is influencing y only through the through the mediator the second case the direct is also significant and the indirect effect is also significant it, it means that it is a case of partial mediation the third case this is only significant and the mediator that is the indirect effect through the mediator is insignificant. It means that this is a clear cut case of no mediation. So, this is a way you can carry out the simple mediation analysis in SPSSMS. For more videos on SPSSMS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on SPSSMS.